this video we're going to be looking into Donut, a new document understanding architecture. Now before we actually start digging into Donut, let's understand or remember what visual document understanding is. Visual document understanding is a relatively new field and up and coming hot area within computer vision. Visual document understanding is about extracting information from unstructured documents with computer vision. You could extract tables, forms, tickets, among many others. Now, of course, this has been solved before using OCR tools, but one of the biggest problems with OCR is that they have high computational costs and also they can be quite inflexible when it comes to applying them on various languages. And this is how various other models such as vision transformers, layout LMVs, and all these other models by Microsoft, Google, and all that have tried to solve that problem. However, they still have a problem of applying to various languages. And this is where this model comes in, Donut, which stands for OCR Free Document Understanding for Transformers. Now, one of the main benefits and why this architecture is better than previous other architectures for document understanding is that it is easily adaptable to many different languages. And not only that, the architecture is extremely, extremely elegant in a sense that it is quite fast, which is probably more applicable in real life use cases if you were to build a real life application. Now, before we start digging inside the architecture, let's actually see how well it performs with various tasks. So this model was tested with three main tasks, namely classification, document information extraction, and document visual question answering. First one, classification. As we can see, it did pretty well compared to previous other models, such as Layout LM, LMV2, very, very popular. But what's interesting is this one actually performed quite efficiently. As we can see on the time, it did it in half the time needed for the other models. However, this was not tested with the Layout LMV3, and that's partly because of Layout LMV3 just got published two months before this model was introduced. A similar situation can also be seen when tested on visual question answering. So this one also did quite well on both the normal test set with digitalized documents, but also handwritten documents in half the time compared to any other models, whilst also having a large number of parameters in its architecture, which is very, very interesting. When it comes to document information extraction, a similar story can be found. They tested on receipts, business cards, tickets, and core data set while taking 1.2 seconds per inference, which is very, very similar to Wyvern or Weavern, a productionalized system by Clover AI showing that how effective this model actually is. Let's actually talk about the architecture of the donut. So the donut architecture is built with two main components, the encoder and the decoder. Encoder, as it sounds, you encode an image and get an embedding, and then you pass it onto the decoder to when, then get a decoded output in a JSON format. Now, how does the encoder work. So it's simply a swing transformer to generate embeddings. Swing transformer is a type of vision transformer with shifted windows. Now, this is essentially just a faster way to generate image embeddings. And that's what the whole efficiency of Donut really comes from. And then from the decoder part, we have a BART model. And this can be any BART model for your sp specific language. But at the end, you will get a JSON output. So if I understand correctly, uh, the main idea about the multilingual adaptability really comes from this architecture of where you can actually exchange the component to BART to some other language BART or the encoder swing transformer to another specific language uh, swing transformer. And that's kind of how it uh, is adaptable to other languages. Now, before we start discussing about how it was pre-trained, the link to the find any code will be in the description. So the donut model was pre-trained using 11 million English documents with pairs of documents and text to do next token prediction by minimizing cross entropy loss. And also fun fact, this model can be applied to various different languages. They achieved this by cleverly generating 0.5 million samples per language when it comes to Chinese, Japanese, Korean. Now this synthdog generator is made up with a multiple hybrid of techniques such as image and data set, texture of documents, and then they used various rule-based augmentation to create various language samples of various receipts, bank cards, and whatnot. Now, they were nice enough to actually provide a link to that specific implementation in their GitHub, and I will link to that as well. All right, guys, that is brief introduction to the donut architecture. I hope you guys find it interesting, and I highly recommend reading the actual paper for more information. All right, guys, see you later. Bye.